We're trying every item in the November 2022 Keto Crate right after this. Welcome to the November 2022 edition of Smash the Crate, the monthly series where me and typically my mother and husband try every item in this month's Keto Crate. Mom couldn't be here today, so she gets her left behind. You know what I'm I talking mean, about? I told her I'll sample for her. It, no, I'll sample for her and you will be very, well see, I'm very pleased. I wasn't gonna say you won't be pleased because it's a lot of sweets and oh they delicious, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm very excited you about this. Please. Yes, exactly. I, I knew when I was when I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna love this, right? And so mom not being here, oh man, right? But like, don't forget, stick around to the end to see if you won this keto crate, it's gonna be one you wanna win, right? But if not, don't worry if you didn't win, click the link in the description to get a discount on your very first keto crate. Okay, enough talky, more snacky. Here we go. Okay, so starting off with the savories, of course. Y'all know how I roll. Uh, first, uh, no. cremolini salami minis. Oh, I love those. I know, I know my husband would love them. And look what flavor it is. Ooh, whiskey. I haven't tried that yet. And neither have I. Uh, and I was just like, we didn't even know they had it as a flavor. Yeah, so I'm all excited. That's exciting. I uh, should have got scissors. Okay, I got you're, it. You're strong. I got it. I'm strong. I believe in you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I'll take it all back. <laughs> I'm real. Oh my gosh. I do not like meat smell. Like meat stick you smell. You smell it? I mean, it like wafted. Mm -hmm. Like it was just like, oh, that's a meat stick. Yeah, that's definitely a salami. Exactly. Okay, I twisted it. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. Oh, so it really does look nice. Yeah, uh, it's very rustic. Like you can see. <laughs> I was gonna say to me, it looks <laughs> nice to me. To you, it looks horrible. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. Oh, oh, the chew. Mm, mm. It is a chew. Mm. No, I do love that. And it's moist. I love that. Mm. I think I can taste the whiskey though. No. Mm. Mm, yeah, I can now. Okay. Ooh. To me, that's a tier one and a half. Like, I know, right? And I y'all know how I do not oh like meat sticks gosh. at all. But it's so tough. The flavor mm -hmm. is good. You can say it's moist if you want to. Like either way, that is a meat stick I enjoy eating. I'm gonna give it one and a half. Speaking of our rating system. No, tier one. Yeah, so let's go. Let's talk about it. Okay. Our, our rating system is from first to worst. So if we get something a one, that means that we really like it. That means I love this. I would buy this with my own money if I haven't already, right? Oh, yeah. Tier two means, you know what? I really like that. Like, mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily buy it, but if I received it for free in a keto crate or a keto palooza, I would be very glad to see this. Yes. Tier number three is like, nah, these are definitely not my favorite. Like, mm -hmm. I... I mean, I'm not throwing it away, but like I'm putting it in the back yeah, of yeah. the snack drawer. Like break glass in, in case, case of emergency. emergency. And that's honestly how I feel about all meat sticks. I just don't like them, right? And so the fact that that's a one and a half, woo. And then finally we have tier four. We have icky, yucky. Yes. I did not like the flavor of that at all. Mm -hmm. I would not accept it even if given for free because I don't like it. So I'm like, no, I don't want your extra any of those. those Thank you for the exist. offer. Yeah, oh yeah. we. We have come across some things that we just simply don't like. But once again, just because we don't like something and our taste isn't for something, doesn't mean you won't like it. But these are just our opinions, no. right? Okay, so tier one and a half for me, yes. that's huge. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm, it's biblical. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really huge. <laughs> okay, moving on. Next to more savory, K's mm -hmm. Snacks That Amaze. Ooh. These are just regular cheddar and almonds so i expect these are going to be delicious as well yes, so, that's yeah that's two things that you love okay just sample some yep and almond and Literally. cheese and i love that the, the cheese squares are they're cubes i mean they're legit dice you yes. can write some number on these and you can play you a game so oh i'm just saying they do look to have some sort of herbage yeah, on do. them. So they look flavored. The almonds look like almonds. Yeah, the so almonds just like... honestly look like raw, uh, well, roasted salted almonds. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's Here go. Here we go. Let me see if they're roasting this all bad. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Oh, there they are. Almond flavor, very strong. Mm hmm. Okay. Like, there wasn't any flavor. No. Nope. It was just traditional, right? Yeah. So, separately. Love the almond, love the cheese. Mm -hmm. Together, all it tastes is almond. 
So mm-hmm. like, the almond is very strong, but yes. that's why I ate the, one of the cheeses just by itself. Mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, there's the oh, cheddar. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I had to do the same. That's delicious though. Like, I love savory like mm-hmm. prepackaged mm-hmm. snack mixes. Like, you guys, well, I don't, I don't know as well. if you know this about me, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to quell my sweet tooth. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better, right? You're quelling it? And yeah, Ooh. my sweet tooth. Hopefully that's the right mm-hmm. verb I think, to I use. think we all should be striving to quell our... Okay, now I have to look it up just no. to make sure that... No, I'm using it right. I don't no, know I don't, I don't trust it. I know it. what I'm doing. I'm just Put to an end! Booyah! I boo, 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 boo! No, it. you kept saying oh, man. Oh, No. <laughs> Hold on, it said typically with the use of force. <laughs> so, like, I am forcefully ending... I think you that's know, how all stuff my sweet tooth. So when I can find like savory yes. things that I really like, all for it. So thank you, thing. K's yeah. snacks that I made. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Next, savory southern recipe small batch pork rinds, sea salt, and cracked black pepper. Oh, wow. And we love southern recipe. Yay! Pork rinds. Yeah. Exactly. And I like the classics. Exactly. That's what I said. Salt. Yeah. Salt pretty and pepper. Traditional. My favorite. Yeah. You can't go wrong with those. <sighs> Even though Southern Recipe Small Batch is definitely known for some international inspired, oh, I you love know, flavor, but I do love just the store yeah, and yeah. pepper. Every now and then you gotta come yeah. back to the classics. Yeah, exactly. You know, you just gotta, gotta bring mm, it you in. Gotta, you gotta come back home. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come back after after a long trip. No. Shh, Welcome shh. home. What are you doing? No, stop it. Okay. These are, yeah, okay, looking good. We can definitely see the pepper. We can definitely. <laughs> you look good. Okay, look. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Mm. Very peppery. Mm-hmm. I was just gonna say that. Not as salty as I would like. I was also gonna say that. Oh my god, very peppery. Very peppery. Like... I mean I ain't mad at it. Just like add more salt, but like you can easily do that yourself. And if you don't like things super salty, this might be great for you. I was just gonna but say the that. pepper flavor is there. It's pretty, pretty prominent. Yeah. Oh, prominent pepper. Mm. Mm-hmm. God. Okay, so for me, that's a tier two. Like, just if you, if the salt was more balanced, it'd be one. Yes. Yeah, if it was saltier, mm-hmm. it would, well, honestly, it'd be one and a half. Like, my, you know, my sweets, my sweets get the top tier. Did we even rate K snacks that I made? Yeah. Okay, good. I said, what, what did I give tier it? Tier two? This is a one and a half uh, for yeah, me, too. Yes, yeah. Yes. So, if they had a spicy version of this, come on. Okay. Mm-hmm. One and a half all around for the Here savory items, right? Here like, these are delicious. The reason I give it a one and a half instead of mm-hmm. a one is like at this point in my journey, I don't go out of my way to buy savory snacks anyway, right? Like mm-hmm. I don't, I don't buy sweets and I don't buy snacks. But if I were to buy them, I would definitely want to yeah. be veering, you know, more toward this stuff. So that's what I'm working I'll on. Give it a one. Yeah, because taste wise, they're really good. Okay, next. Okay, now here's what I'm most excited okay. about in terms of savory. Here we go. Let's see what's happening. All mommy. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you All said right. what? Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. it is a mixture between. Show the, show the camera. Oh yeah, sorry. Because I'm about to. No, because I'm just, I'm I want to tear into mommy. this with you. Yeah. We're gonna have to explain this. Okay, it is a. Oh gosh, where is it? Okay, it's a mixture between almond and umami. Ooh. It is an. It's a savory umami yeah. almond spread. Oh nice. Yeah. So basically, what they said is. Top any of your favorite um, Anything. savories uh-huh. with almami. Oh, nice. Yeah, so we're going to use, I did the pork rods oh, first so I that we can top it. Okay. Yeah, so. I will grab my small see if one. I can. Okay. Oh, it came out very umami like. Yeah, and it doesn't, it didn't separate, no, so it, didn't. it wasn't oh, something you have to shake. There okay. We go. It's like a little mustardy looking mustard yeah. paste kind of thing. Yeah. I'm trying to get a good amount so I can truly taste it. Good point. So okay. Do the same. I mean, if not, we're just going to have to. Here we go. Okay. Now let's uh, see yeah. what this is about. Okay. One, two, three. Mm. Well. Okay. I like the flavor. I do as well. Oh, I feel the heat. I oh, do did you feel? Do you feel it? Yeah. Smoky Chipotle. I know. I'm very perplexed. That's a winner. Yeah. That I'd have is to say, I definitely, really good. That came out of left field. I was not expecting yeah. that. 
Yeah, I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah. Just not that. I mean, it's not gritty. Yeah. Like, it's really well blended. Although, you know why? Hmm. Look at the first ingredient. What is it? Oh, sunflower oil. oil. Yeah. This is, that's the only reason I'm going to mm. give this a tier two. Mm. I really be watching my oils, you guys. I know. But it's made with almonds. Come on. Mm. But the flavor. Good loving mm. sauce. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's delicious. And we would have never heard about this. Yeah. We would have never known what it was. You ain't lying. If not for the keto crate. I would have passed this up a many times at the grocery store. <laughs> all, all mommy times. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I would have passed them up. So. No, but I mean, other than Whoa, that. Whoa, that's good. It's yeah. pretty good numbers back here. It is. Just yeah. the sunflower oil. Exactly. But, tis life. Okay, and now on to the sweets. I'm ready. We have a lot of awesome sweets. <laughs> We're going to start with, look at this, Miro. Oh, Lord. Oh, I know Miro. I know. That's what I'm saying. We just tried this yes. like a couple of weeks ago. So I was oh. happy to see it in the keto crate. You were like, maybe those are all the almonds. Or was that mom? And we were yeah, like, no. <laughs> I was like, no. It was definitely mom. That's that, clearly. That perfectly round. Exactly. I was like, no. That's just clearly the mold that they use like to they make use these. big round almonds. Yeah. So I do love the packaging. I'm no. still obsessed and with the, the packaging. Yeah. It's, it it's a lot. Okay. Be easily breakable. Yeah. It's like a Hershey So this is butter. chocolate peanut butter. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So. What do you think? The same thing as I said last time. The texture is just not very creamy. Mm -hmm. It's like powdery almost, you know? Like, and when so. You keep disintegrating it. Yeah, it kind of gets, dis you know, disintegrating. And then when it does that, it becomes smooth. And then when it does that, you can taste the peanut butter. Yeah. So it's like a process you gotta go through. Yeah. In order to get to it's the, like it's like the crunch, 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 creamy, mm -hmm. creamy. Ah, there is a peanut butter flavor, you know? Really good to be honest, taste, though. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, tier two, two yeah. and a half. Like, yeah. if I receive these, like, then it's a chocolate bar. Tastes like peanut say, butter. I love it. As a person who don't even like chocolate that much, I think it's a tier two as well. And I remember you saying I that last that. time, and I couldn't tell if that was like a compliment or a bad thing. Like, well, I'm a mean, person that doesn't like, like chocolate like at all, sticks. this is the chocolate. Oh, then that's a yeah, good compliment. Yeah, it's like you and meat sticks. Because crim them cremolinis was yeah. delicious. Yeah. Okay. It's like, right. I really like, I don't hate chocolate. Like, yeah. if it's really good, I'm like, it's yeah. really good. Mm. Next. Next. Really good. Keto-wise. Yes. Chocolate pecan Ooh. clusters. Mm. Yeah. These are going to be delicious. I think I like these. Yeah. So just chocolate pecan clusters. It's like a turtle, right? It is, exactly. Mm. It's a turtle. So I'm going to cut it in half. So. Okay. I'll take that you right. take that one? Okay. Yes. So you can definitely clearly see there's mm -hmm. like a pecan the turtle in layer. It. Yeah. There's a turtle in it. Okay. Let's go. It's really cute. Mmm. Oh, yeah. The chew. It's the caramel for me. It's the caramel that then causes the chew. Mm hmm But actually, the, the little pecans on top. Well, this is a bonus. Tier one. I already could tell you. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Well, those are good. Flavor-wise, tier one. Ingredient-wise. Oh, what are we doing? Two and a half. What's three. the? Let me let me find out. What's the deal? First ingredient. Prebiotic soluble fiber. Uh -huh. Second ingredient. Polydextrose. Oh. Third ingredient, vegetable good oil. Lord. Yeah, I mean, no wonder it tastes well, so good. Okay. It's conventional candy. It is right? a turtle. Yeah, exactly. So, well, that's try. delicious. But as I always say, watch your your blood sugar, yeah. watch your ingredients. Yes. Like, make oh, sure that was really good because it tastes delicious. Yeah, mm. I'll agree. Mm. Okay, on the caramel kick, oh. scrummy classic caramels. Look at them. These have Getting zero net the carbs. Gummy, uh, the, the, the gummies, gummy I know, right? I'm branching out, so. Because I enjoy me some scrummy gummies. I love me some scrummy, yummy gummies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so let's see what these look like. Oh, oh my wow. Gosh. It's like a Halloween That's, candy. Yes. That is a traditional yeah. wax paper yeah. wrapped gives caramel. You, gives you classic vibes. Yeah, definitely. Okay. It's like sticky. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and then like going, you can, you can tell shop. it's the good stuff when it keeps the shape of like, <laughs> yeah. like all the edges and everything. Okay, let's go. All right, I'll have that. <laughs> so I mentioned previously, I'm not traditionally a caramel person. I'm caramel. Oh, are you not? I've never bought mm. these. You know. Mm. 
Mm. No, I used to do um, in church. Mm. Now, every blue moon, it was mostly peppermint, mm. but every blue moon, she would have like a, um, a little caramel block. It was my yes. favorite. But then like have the little Werther's original sometimes. I was going like to say, that kind of reminded me of the Werther's of, like, original. Yeah. It was like butterscotchy mm-hmm. caramel. I really enjoyed the chew. Mm-hmm. I really enjoyed the creaminess of it. The flavor was like reminiscent of a Werther's original. Mm-hmm. So I'm totally okay with that. Overall, I'll give that a tier two. Mm-hmm. I honestly say one and a half. Look at you. Yeah, because it reminds me of those little caramel squares. Yeah, it's nostalgic. But mm-hmm. I mean, taste wise, those are delicious. Yep. Next, we have one of my favorite brands, yeah, Ross Chocolates, a dot .ca. Oh, yes. Also, but here's something what that you... What your mom always call them? Something silly. Ross Chocolates dossier. There we go. Ah, see, now you're here, Chris. I know. Uh, do like you But here. something that I wanted to run by you, mm-hmm. cherry almond. Chocolate oh, cherry almond. Nice. Well, I've had those cherries and the chocolate. And the, you have the little, little have box it. of candy. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, of... see, and I don't like those. I normally don't like candy or like chocolate, chocolate and fruit, fruit mixing. Say. Fruit and chocolate. Well, yeah. this definitely doesn't look like it's uh, one of those candy Yeah, it's not thick. But yeah, it's very, it might be cherry yes, light, and I'm yes. okay with that. Okay, so yeah, because it just, hey, you can see the back, yeah. and there's, yeah, it's there's some design. lines on the front. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow. A bit crisp. That's a strong cherry. Mm, I can get a whiff of that. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not liking it. <laughs> it's stuck to my teeth. I mean, mm. it's okay. If um, you like chocolate. Yeah, and a lot of cherry you like scent. Because it's all you in like my nose. Almonds. Yeah, cherry's in my nose. It smells cherry. Mmm, mmm, that was interesting. All right. That's a tier three for me. But I mean, I already knew, like, yeah. I don't like yeah. chocolate and fruit mixed together. Yeah. See, I liked it, and it's a tier three for me as well. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, mmm. No, I like chocolate and fruit. It's just that's a unique blend. It was very strong. It, it, it felt like cherry syrup, cherry alcohol, no. you know, like, Jerry. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to need some water after that. But I mean, I love Ross Chocolate yes, Dossier. Yes, this you know. is the first time I think we've ever sampled anything from Ross, and we're like, hmm. No, for me, they had that lemon one. You remember chocolate and lemon? Oh, you're right. Now, you liked that, that one. That was good. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Back to the lemon and chocolate. Stop it with the fruits, Ross no, Chocolate Dossier. Keep it going, just only lemon. Give me like on salt, particular... almond. <laughs> that was like, ooh. ooh. Finally. Yes. Hoping. Here we go. Save the best for last. Of course, you always do that. Chalk Zero. Oh my god. Oh my god. Chalk Zero, double dip almonds. Mm. And at first I was like, oh, the coconut ones yeah. that we had. No, 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 no. Milk and caramel toffee. Oh, no, that's different. Oh, I that's... thought they were. You exactly. They could have at least changed the color yes. packaging or something. Yes. But I'm excited about Chalk this. Chalk Zero, you, you save the day. Exactly. Hopefully. Well, look. Oh, well, that is neat. It's a little little individual bitty wrapping. Little packaging. Yeah, that has two pieces in it. How did you know that? Each. You could, but A, you can feel it, and then B, the other ones have oh, two pieces in like, it. Too. What are you? <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're right. No, Unwrap it. Okay, that is so unique. just like the coconut yes. ones, they look like little eggs. Yes, I mean, you do. can see almond shape. And yes. glossy chocolate outside. Sure you can. Yeah, and they look amazing. Okay, you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Oh, I tried to bite. Did you get? Yep. Nope. So there's almond in it. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Flavor wise, tier one. Yes. I love that. I'd have to agree. The almond, the chocolate, the toffee, Again. the salt, whatever it's, they got going it's on. It's the caramel for me, dog. Okay. So the only thing I will say is the caramel is not ooey gooey. Like you no. cannot bite and no. pull. Like there's no pull. Like mm-hmm. it would make you seem mm-hmm. like it's that sort. No, no. But it doesn't need to pull if it, if it no. tastes good. Well, like you know that. it's in there. You can taste yeah. it. Yeah. And you can taste it. Yeah. But it's definitely not. I thought it was going to be. Like, like a, a, shell a uh, yeah, a shell like, a shell. well, no, just like a shell around like a mushy oh, okay. outside. Like, it's not mushy. Okay. Honestly, I felt it when I bit into it. Mm-hmm. 
the chocolate kind of popped off of it. Ooh. Similar to like if you were to like eat a um, like a peanut M&M, yeah. how the chocolate just kind of pops. Yeah, like that's kind of kind how I felt. I, I felt the chocolate layer and then the toffee and then the almond on the inside. Mm -hmm. Like, but it was delicious. So I'm still giving that a tier one. Awesome. That was awesome. I agree. Tier one all the way around. Okay. And do you know who I want to know if they think this is awesome? Oh my God. It's the winner of this month's Keto Crate. What? Mm -hmm. And that person is, congratulations, send me an email oh at watchautumnketo at gmail.com and we will get this Keto Crate shipped out to you. Also, let me know what you think about the oh, mommy. I mean, you know what I'm talking about? Because that was, that was a surprise. I mean, that was a, that was a lurker, like, right? The only meat sticks that you have liked. The, exactly, <laughs> right? And how long? My only Forever's? favorite meat stick. Exactly. So yeah, Here this... I would say this Kittle Crate was amazing, right? Tons of products from brands we already know and love. Even if they're from brands we love, flavors that like, aren't quite our favorite. Mm -hmm. We're so glad to see them here in the Keto Crate. Okay, catch us next month for December, the last oh, yay, unboxing of the 2022. Holidays. The Christmas unboxing, hopefully, if see you will. See what the Christmas crate looks yeah, like. Oh, I'm going to tell them they should hey, rebrand just for December. Your husband, mm -hmm. what I did. What I did. Minor in advertising. See, oh, gosh. Work of art. No, we gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>